It feels a little like Europe, or maybe Charleston, or perhaps the French West Indies. But this isn't any of those places. This is Rosemary Beach, Florida. Rosemary Beach straddles the Gulf of Mexico, serving as a prestigious punctuation mark at the far east end of scenic Highway 30A. The town's name comes from a native plant called Conradina, which flourishes here. Also known as false rosemary, this flower budding bush apparently looks close enough to pass as the real thing. Kinda like Rosemary Beach itself passing for Nice or Martinique. As you arrive in this quaint beachfront village, you're cradled by rows of twisting scrub oaks flanking stately homes built along wood plank paths and cobblestone streets. Not too long ago, this was a nude beach, a place mostly devoid of people, homes, and swimming trunks. That all changed in 1995 when Rosemary Beach was officially established. Pants are no longer optional, but there's still a coastal chic vibe here that welcomes flip-flops and crop tops. Rosemary Beach's urban layout was based on something designers call the Radburn Plan. The town center is connected by a network of pedestrian pathways so homeowners and guests don't have to drive. Outdoor art exhibits are displayed all around town, including the iconic Blue Dog sculpture that's now permanently displayed in the narrow green lawn along 30A. Deep shaded porches are a staple on most homes here, with many concealing dreamy courtyards behind lush tropical vegetation. In many cases, if you're in a car, you're not actually seeing the front of the house. That visual architectural feast is reserved for pedestrians who navigate the village via shaded boardwalks, all which eventually lead to the beach. Rosemary Beach's U-shaped town plaza is populated with small boutiques, a salon, a bookstore, restaurants, a bike shop, and a coffee shop, which also sells official 30A gear. To the south side of Scenic 30A, you'll find more quaint shops and clothiers, a post office, a town hall that hosts lectures, concerts, and community meetings, a tiny market, and stunning green gulf front parks. Fanning out from the town center are architecturally inspired estates, many with an adjoining carriage house. There are also pocket parks with bubbling fountains, community pools, hidden playgrounds, a state-of-the-art fitness facility, and tennis courts. Perhaps Rosemary Beach's most striking signature structure is the Pearl, a 55-room boutique hotel with a world-class restaurant and a Hemingway-worthy craft cocktail bar. One of the most popular places to see and be seen is Piscata, a restaurant and bar that's perfectly poised for sunset light across Rosemary Beach's rooftops. Joe Freer is Piscato's owner, and he's been here since before the beginning, with his first restaurant, Shades, starting in nearby Seaside, before it became the go-to sports pub at the far east end of this beach. Yeah, we used to call it uh, Shades at the Loop. Shades we had that, that's right. Yeah, we had that loop. I remember that. Yeah. The local feel, we, we here in, in Inlet Beach, we definitely have our awesome local crowd. And then we, you know, we obviously have the tourists and, and homeowners. And sure. So we get a great combination of, of folks from all over. We wanted to do something in Rosemary, and, and, and Mike Rose came to came to us, and uh, we basically brought a lull over here. And Greg and I got on it and came up to this height, and we said, "All right, we'll take it." Everybody was so hyped for for a, a rooftop, true rooftop restaurant, and it started out great, and then it just you know the word just got out there and. The views and you know obviously social media helps with you know the sunsets and stuff so everybody's like oh let's go check it out and then they get great food and a good drink and and it's been wow we've been blessed 
I mean, I can remember back in the day, you know, there was dunes and, and we would go, you know, I'd drive my truck onto the beach and inlet beach and just hang out there. There was, you know, there was no yeah. code, you know, it wasn't, there was nothing enforced way back when. We used to all have our trucks and stuff on the, on the beach and just hang out, do bonfires. I didn't, never had a permit, <laughs> you know, it was just, we were just living life and it was awesome. And then it just started happening. Just see a house go up and then another house go up and then town center. Everything kept coming together and it's like, wow, this people are are noticing this end of the beach because it was always, you know, west and you know, Destin. I mean what makes Rosemary different is I mean, obviously the architecture is beautiful. The family friendly feel of Rosemary has always been something that I like. Um, and I think it definitely is a draw to families from, from all over. I mean, you, you get the best of everything here. No, this is not Europe. It isn't the French West Indies. This is no false rosemary. It may have drawn its original inspirations from such charming and exotic old world locales, but like the Conradina, Rosemary Beach has now become its own thing, inspiring residents and visitors alike to appreciate all the best things that life has to offer, especially the sunsets. <laughs>